The academy travelled to Bridge Meadows Stadium this week to face Haverford West County in the FAW Cup. After seven minutes, Tom James went close to opening the scoring for City with this flipped on header from Jamie Veal's free kick. A few moments later, Yora Endham did find the back of the net, however the goal was disallowed for being offside. Endham did break the deadlock, however, just shortly after with some good control inside the area before slotting into the bottom corner. The home team equalised on 24 minutes. Liam Fawcett did well to beat the defence before slotting one past Liam Matthews. Ellis Bellamy pushes a chance just wide following a corner from Veal, keeping the score at one all going into half time. Into the second half, Jake Watkins restored City's lead with a low driven shot that went in off the post. In the 70th minute, however, Haverford West levelled with an incredible 25-yard volley from Laurie Hower. City had a number of opportunities in the late stages of the game, but couldn't find the winning goal in normal time. So at 90 minutes, the score remained to all. And into extra time, City were first to draw blood. A low drive from Eli Phipps was saved by Evans. Ellis Bellamy flicked the ball towards the goal. Tom James crossed back in. And Jake Watkins tapped in to make it 3-2. And that was the score at half-time of extra time. The second period bringing a flurry of goals in the last five minutes. Watkins seals his hat-trick and all but sealed City's place in the fourth round. Two minutes later, Eli Phipps made it 5-2. And in the final minute, David Tatonda drove into the box and cut back to Phipps, who netted his second of the game and a seventh of the cup, ending the game on 6-2. It was a hard fought out 90 minutes, but City proved they deserved to press on to the next round with that impressive extra time performance.